Hi there, this is Andy and today I will guide you on how to buy and sell stocks or ETFs on the Fidelity mobile app, as well as how to fund the account and navigate the platform. Once you download and log into your Fidelity app, you will land on the main dashboard. There you will see your current balance of the entire account. For me that amount is $28.41 and today my holdings have increased by 34 cents or 1.21%. If you slide down, you can see your accounts. Currently, I hold two accounts here, an individual account and a Roth IRA account. At the bottom of the main dashboard, you can see the markets, tabs for recent activity, positions and tax forms. First order of business will be to add some more funds to the account so we can perform a trade. To add funds on your Fidelity account through mobile, tap transfer. In the new window, you can pick the amount you want to transfer funds from to the account you wish. I will make my selection as I want to transfer funds from my funding account, which is a Capital One account, to my individual Fidelity account. After you select the accounts, enter the amount, I will do $30 today. To note that from here you can link more accounts as well, transfer investments to another firm or even wire money to your bank. Prior to clicking preview, I want to address the 10 business hold on the top of the screen. Basically, once you transfer funds in, you can't withdraw them for the next 10 business days. It's quite normal in many of the brokers, so it's nothing to be concerned over. Anyhow, to proceed, tap preview, and if everything is set, tap submit. As you can see, the processing time is between 1 to 3 business days until the money is delivered to your account. To exit the screen, tap the X button on the top left side. Once on the main dashboard, slide down so you can refresh. And there you have it. Your funds will appear there. As you can see, my amount increased and now is more than uh, it's the previous plus $30. That happens because Fidelity will credit to you the funds and allow you to trade with them until the deposit takes place. That is the main reason behind the 10 business day holding. Now that we have the extra funds in our account, it is time to trade some stocks and ETFs. To buy a stock or ETF, tap Transact once more, then you can tap Search on the pop-up or use an existing stock or ETF. As you can see, the SCHD is there as I have made the transaction there prior. Regardless, and in order to show you the process, I will tap in Research and then type in SCHD. If you are trading a certain stock or ETF frequently, you can tap the plus button next to it to add it to your list. If you don't have a list yet, like myself, you will be prompted to create one. I will name this one ETFs, where you can even put how many shares you have and what price you bought them. Anyhow, back to the search screen. Tap on the stock or ETF you have searched and the individual asset screen will show up. There you can see the chart for the day, 5 days and so on up to 5 years. Slide down and you can get a detailed quote with the latest price, bid and ask price as well as volume and day range. Further down, you can check the performance over the last 10 years, as well as the latest news about your pick. The second tab on the screen is the research tab, where you can find more details about the assets you have selected. For SEHD, you can see the expense ratio, distribution X and pay day, as well as the amount of the dividend and current yield. If you slide further down, you can see the ETF's uh, top holdings, such as the ConocoPhillips, Chevron, Verizon, Coca-Cola, and so on. The last tab is the position you're currently holding on your accounts. I have bought one share in the past, where the price was at $27.25, and since then, I have taken 7% in losses. Now it's time to buy again, and to do that, I will tap Buy. Here I can see my available cash, which is $33.04, and the bid and ask price. I will choose the amount I want to purchase, that of one share, and below I will pick my order type, which will be market, as I don't care to chase the price. However, as you can see, the application provides all the options, such as limit, stop loss, stop limit, trailing loss, and so on. Pick the one that works for you best, and once ready, tap preview. If you're in agreement with the preview screen, slide to buy SCHD, or your asset. Great! My order was submitted. Tap done and then slide down to refresh the screen to see your new overall position. It took about 30 seconds for the new position to show up, but it did. And as you can see now, I have two shares of SHD and if I slide down slightly, I can see the updated purchase history. Now in order to sell, the process is identical. 
tap sell and you will land in the same exact screen as the buy version. Just this time, the highlighted option is the sell one. So once more, add the amount of shares you want to sell, tap preview, and if you're okay with all your settings, slide to the right. And that's how you buy and sell stocks or ETFs on the Fidelity application. Now let's check what else the app has to offer. Once back on the main dashboard, if you tap your account, in addition to the chart, which uh, can go up to three years back, you can see your available cash to trade as well as your performance. For that, you need to slide down a bit. The setting is preset to five years, which I show us how much time matters in the market. The longer you stay in, the higher the probability of returns, especially when investing in ETFs and index funds. If I tap all, then it shows my total pre-tax return since the beginning of the year, which with the market correction is negative. Now tap investing. There you can see your open position, watch list and markets. You're given the option to check the US market as well as the international ones. And actually the graph is quite cool as well. If you tap market futures, you can see in more details about the US and the global markets, as well as Forex, commodities, metal and energy price. On the markets tab, you can check top news as well as market movers and sector performers. Also, you can check the current treasury bond rates from 3 months up to 30 years. The planning tab allows you to set some goals like retirement, emergency, home, build wealth, a college, and so on. If you tap on any of them, you will get a series of questions to determine how they can best assist you, which is pretty cool. The Discover tab, which is the last uh, tab in the application, is information and educational content. Overall, Fidelity app is a solid application that perfectly complements the services offered on the Fidelity web platform. If you don't yet have a Fidelity account or you're still deciding whether it's the right broker for you, no worries, we got you covered. On our YouTube channel, you will find detailed tutorial and review videos that walk you through everything you need to know. In the description below, you will also find direct links to two helpful resources, a step-by-step -step guide on how to create and fund a Fidelity account and a complete walkthrough on the Fidelity web platform, which includes on how to play trades, connect multiple bank accounts and navigate all the available futures. Now, if you're looking for a full review on Fidelity before making your decisions, make sure to watch our dedicated review video as well. It breaks down the pros and cons, fees, and who this platform is best suited for. Whether you are a beginner or more experienced investor, you will find valuable insights to help you make the right choice. Thank you for watching. I hope this video guided you on how to navigate, fund your Fidelity account on mobile, as well as how to buy and sell stocks or ETFs on it. Like, subscribe, and comment your questions below. I'll be more than happy to get back to you. Talk to you soon.